Hi again! It's actually the same day. We just got done with our live and my celery soup is over there sitting on the counter cooling. And I am getting started with making probably my last batch of salsa. Uh, I've got a ton of salsa already, but I did just harvest the last of my tomatillas. And I've got a bunch of ripe tomatoes. And then I've got a bunch of tomatoes frozen um, that are going to be, I'm going to make them into like stewed tomatoes or, or just diced canned tomatoes or, or something like that. beautiful ripe tomatoes. These are the Mountain Merit and they're a really nice heavy meaty tomato. And then I've got this bowl of tomatillas here and they're still in the skins. I need to clean that. And then I have here some black crim tomatoes and they're a darker, they're not quite ripe but they're soft. So because they're a dark tomato. I know they're a different color, but I'm going to roast them up anyway. So that's what I'm doing is I'm getting everything ready to roast. I'm going to cut the stems off. I'm going to clean these and get the sticky off. And then everything's going to go into the oven with some onions and some peppers. And then we'll run it through the food processor and into the instant pot where we will then add our other ingredients like garlic and and uh, vinegar! <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get that done and I'll be back. Alright, this is going in. <clears throat> and this is almost ready. These are my tomatillas. These are three onions. Uh, and I've got a couple of jalapeno peppers that I'm going to split and actually take the seeds out because I didn't grow these <clears throat> excuse me but I definitely want to grow jalapenos next year so that I can do my own I didn't have other than my paprika peppers I didn't have a lot of luck with peppers this year tomatoes and my tomatillas and my onions are out of the oven so I'm leaving the skins on the tomatillas however I will they're still a little hot but once they've cooled off a little bit more I will come in here and peel off the skin and then we'll just set it on there and we'll be putting it into the the skins into the dehydrator Ooh, yeah that's still too hot we'll come back and do that I'm gonna let it cool Okay, so I've dumped my pepper puree in there, and I've skinned the skinned these tomatoes, and there the skins are ready to go in the dehydrator. Now I'm going to run these tomatoes through the processor and dump them in there. Oh, and then I'll turn some heat onto that, and then we'll go in there with the onions and the tomatillas and the jalapenos. Now in my pepper mix. In my pepper mix, I have four, well, about three large bell peppers. It was actually too small and, and too large. So I figured the too small make a large. Anyway, uh, and, and one whole jalapeno pepper with the seeds because I want some heat in this salsa. I have made a ton of mild salsa for Mima and Stiff Dave. Uh, but I want something that's, something that's a little bit hotter for myself, so I'm making this batch a little bit hotter. <laughs> or trying to, anyway. It is almost midnight. I am exhausted. My back is killing me. And I have finished putting my salsa together. So, to my tomato and tomatilla and pepper and onion and garlic mixture, I added one of these little bottles of the Monticello Cellars um, jalapeno wine vinegar and then I added, 
tablespoon of sugar, and I added, what else did I add? What, a teaspoon and a half of cumin, and some cilantro, and I've got that in my pot. Hmm. So that was absolutely the best salsa that I have made yet. I didn't even let Mima and Dave try it. But here's my halt salsa. I put it in half pint jars because I'll be the only one who's eating it. Nobody else will be eating it in my family. Uh, they'll find it too hot, I'm sure. Dave, maybe. Mom, for sure, no. For sure, no. So anyway, there you go. I roasted my tomatillas and my tomatoes and my onions. And I did roast some of the jalapenos, but I put most of the peppers in unroasted because I prefer the flavor of them raw. I mean, I know that they cook up when I'm cooking up the salsa, but I didn't cook them before I threw them into the salsa. I, I, I find it makes a difference in the flavor. So anyway, uh, I did use a whole four ounce bottle of the Monticello Cellars um jalapeno wine vinegar and and that just makes the whole difference in that salsa that and the jalapeno peppers it's really really good anyway thanks for coming and hanging out with me today i do appreciate every single minute that you come in and spend with me i hope that you have a wonderful day and i will see you soon Bye.